Welcome to Dota. That's right, guys. Dota 2 today. Brand new game. No, 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 no. We're playing Dota 1. Oh, okay, we're playing Dota 1, the original Dota. I mean, I, I don't think you can even play that game anymore, but we found out in, like, an illegal copy online, Dota 1. Dota 1, like, yes. Wait, and other people are actually playing with us. Yeah, we have, like, See? a couple of our friends together. Whoa, like, that was all a these people list. in this game are actually just our friends. Yeah, we know everyone here. Trust me. It's just they're not on the call because you guys don't know them. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the viewers. We care. We care. We care for the views. No, the viewers, viewers, my bad, viewers, we're not we, just we like... We care about the money, you. the money, it's all about we, the, the money. The money, yes, the mo no, 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 that's not what you care about. Well, I do not know how to play this game. How do you play this game, Jordan? Uh, oh, this is League of Legends! Oh, is that why I was so confused? Well, yeah, we're playing League of Legends today. Yeah, it's, it's philosophy time. And these... So just, just, wait, wait, I gotta give like a little intro where I'm just like, by the way, guys. If you don't not play League of Legends or don't understand most of it, you, you know, we're not explaining it. That's not the point of this video. We're not going to explain to you what a League of Legends is. But at the same time, we're not really going to talk about League of Legends. We're just kind of existing in it. If, if yeah, you know, we're, gonna... we're playing this as a method of just doing something in the background while we talk. Yes. So we're playing on the A-Rim map, which is like a map that requires absolutely no skill. Yeah, it's just... And it's all random. Everything is random. All the characters are random. Like the random number generator has been like set to like ten thousand right now. Pretty interesting. RNG is here. Da, 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 da. Oh no, I didn't kill him. Oh god. So, him. Should, I should I uh should, should I bring up the liquid in the cup? So we've already failed at recording this. Yeah, so we recorded uh, I mean let me do this. So uh we recorded the video earlier. Uh, Jordan failed horribly, like, he, he's, his phone was on the yeah, record button. Yeah, so... I, I looked up the equation for gravity for Joe, and left my phone resting at the top of my keyboard on the F11 button, which I used my hotkey to record, and long story short, it didn't end well. Yeah, it did, did not end well. Just kept turning on and off on the recording. So, um... Yep, yeah, and then uh, eventually when we were uh, talking in the last episode, uh, Jordan I was, was trying to explain, he was trying to explain to me what a vacuum is and how um, molecules in a vacuum work, and in space how they work, and his best analogy was liquid in a cup. Okay, I gotta explain this. So, how yeah. I was explaining it, if you put liquid in a cup, it doesn't all just accumulate in one spot, it kind of spreads out and fills up the entire bottom of the cup before it rising. And that's how that's how gases would work in a vacuum. It's not gonna they're not they're not gonna accumulate in one central location. They wanna just instantly spread out once they're exposed into that vacuum. And then Jordan realized that's a horrible analogy and it doesn't work at all. Yes. I what I meant to say was pouring liquid on a table. It's like I'm pretty sure the first time you said pudding, like it's like pouring pudding on a table, I'm like, what? I said liquid, but whatever. Like, pudding is a liquid. I just want to be, I want to be politically correct here in saying that putting Oh, you gotta be entirely PC? PC, bro? Is that what PC want. stands for? Politically correct? I never knew that. Yeah, South Park. But you don't want Oh yeah, South Park, true. He also doesn't watch the best show ever, which I won't name at this point. Dude, my, my mom, my mom is making pasta. Mom is making pasta. Joe's mom is making pasta for him. A pasta? It's a spot of pasta. Joe, would you like to talk about your tea and, incident? And, well, first I want to be politically correct in saying it, it's pasta, not not spaghetti, and it's gravy, not sauce. Just want to be very specific Wait, in like, saying. like turkey gravy. No, 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 no. You, it's pasta and gravy. No, no. Yes, it's pasta. It is. Spaghetti is a type of pasta. Gravy is something you put on turkey. No, gravy is the tomato sauce that goes in your pasta. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You don't understand. Who is being pinged repeatedly? Probably me. Because I died. I didn't even get that. What I just screwed? realized I have two of our three deaths. I'm not good at this game. I don't know why. I'm I am. Joe really... is like LCS, which is like the, the league community. Championship series. Champion. No, the LLC. League 
championship system? The, the... Series, because that's like the tournament. Oh, okay, yes. I actually never knew what that abbreviation stood for. League Championship Series. The uh, lower channel system. I don't know. Oh, wow, Zach's uh, just kind of sitting over here. So, wait. Oh, they have a Vidar. How about we get a Vidar? We have a me. Uh, wow, you are. Uh, how are you alive? Uh, not anymore, because I had to go and kill well, neither, neither am I. I'm building a Thorn Mount just because. This thing I was gonna bring up. Why am I, I building know, a Thorn Mount? The, the whole episode that never will be seen, trying to figure out what I was gonna say. And yeah, I never remember, and I still don't top. remember. People exploding in a vacuum as Joe thinks that happens. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can we bring it up? This... Yes. So, I thought, like, if someone was, like, so, like, in NASA, they got, like, these little vacuum chambers? <laughs> oh, yeah. Gravity in a spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe I thought, thought someone... if you were no, in no, a no, vacuum. No, no, no. Oh, I'm, I got this. So. <laughs> I thought if someone lines like those vacuum chambers and like they turned it on, like they would just like explode and be like ripped apart because like there was nothing, like there was no gravity holding them together. And then I later found that you don't even need gravity to exist. That's uh, it's a lot of bullshit. It's something that like they they say you need, but you don't really like. It's not a basic need, like shelter it's, and stuff. Okay, is. going back into gravity without without being in gravity for a long time, that's a problem. That's a is big it? No. Because your bones, like, you, you're, you're, you're not used to weighing anything. So, your legs will be super weak, that's why you have to exercise constantly in space. Uh, your bones will separate. That's <laughs> all I can imagine. So, will your spinal like something, column? So, like, you know, like, in giant, like, space jet landing. Like, you know, like, you know, like, little space planes, whatever they're called, like, landing, like, after a huge flight. Yeah. And just, you know, like the door opens, the guy takes like one step out of it and just falls on the ground. It's like a pudding, just falls around like a pile of person. <laughs> like gelatin. I'm sorry, that's, that's funny to me. I find that funny. Is that I, I didn't hear you. What, it was something about gravity. Alright, <laughs> so, so, like the person gets at a space station, like not space station, a space shuttle, like after it lands. And like yeah. they get out, they take like one step and the whole body just turns to gel and they oh, fall. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens to them. <laughs> they, they literally cannot walk. They are not, you are not allowed to drive or do anything. Once you come back? Yeah, for the first like three days or something. <laughs> because because you're not used to it, you will collapse. Of course, is that why, is that why you need to be like um, Goku and train in a hundred times Earth gravity? Yeah. That actually, like, that, 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 like, that would make you stronger, correct? Because, yeah, like, there's more... Yeah, it would make you extremely strong if your bones could handle it, yeah. If your bones could handle that, you'd be so strong. Like, you'd be, like, Hulk strong. Like, that's how the Hulk became to be. He just... He went up into space and, like... No, he got exposed to gamma rays. Everyone, I want you to go stick your face in some gamma rays. Trust me, it'll make you the Hulk. <laughs> I feel like gamma rays will just kill you. It will. <laughs> <laughs> It'll seriously like... mutate and kill. Seriously maim and kill. Yeah, kids, don't don't jump in any gamma rays. That's a gamma bad rage. idea. I didn't get anyone, man. I'm disappointed. Gamma radiation though? Isn't like gamma radiation like on like the like alright alright. That's so, like nuclear stuff though. No, it's like like you know like that like, that scale of light, like visible light versus non visible yeah, so that, light? Is it gamma or non visible it's light? A, it's a wave, yeah, it's part of the wave. Oh it's, uh, it's a wave, that's what it is. Like, they're called it's, it's a uh it's a wave of light. Mm -hmm. That we cannot it's no, it's an electromagnetic wave, Joe. Wouldn't that just like fry your brain? Which does not require a medium to tra travel through. So, like, like, normal waves too. So, like water I, I, um, so the people, they were talking about ways of, uh, wireless electricity. Yeah, wireless 
So, um, I don't think this works, but I mean, they were talking about it and they seem pretty competent, so I'm gonna say it might be a thing. What? what uh, they were talking about putting like a nuclear reactor in space, like an orbit it somewhere, like around the planet, and um, they put a giant like satellite dish on it, and um, that satellite dish emulates or emits, my bad, uh, it emits microwaves. I don't With know enough about electricity to tell you if you would be able to harness that from the ground. I know one thing, we can technically harness the power of electricity and use that. Well, yeah, that's, that's basic. That's, that's electricity. That is elementary, my dear boy. It's actually not difficult at all to do. I always, like, whenever I play this game, I get, like, really tired, like, for no reason. It's because we talk about really philosophical, deep questions. That, that the like, like, like transmitting uh, uh, waves or someone uh, being ripped apart in a vacuum. That's really philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, philosophical. Philosophical, I'm pretty sure you're Isn't it? Philosophical? No. No, just stop. I find you big words, Jordan. I want to be smart. Joe doesn't Joe. know big words. I use I... big words a lot, but it's only. Did I hear an echo? Joe. Uh, can I find like a little way? No, I heard it for a second. Hey Jordan, when you were in um, you are in high school, right? Yeah. Alright, when you're in high school, do they like tell you you can't use the word like I, me, we, yes. good? So um, when I went to college on my first day, they're like just like so um. Has your teacher ever told you like not to use good and all these things? Like that? I'm like, yeah. He's these like, are all right, get. These teachers are people who went this to school. This my principal says. Years. My principal, my um, my English teacher, my college English teacher. So, forget everything they told you because it's stupid as hell. Joe, they're like, these and then are they're teachers like, who haven't been to college in over 20 years. They hey, don't Jordan, know what they're talking about. Jordan, hear me out. Do you know what they said? What? No, my teacher's like arguments. That was the, like the people. They were saying like, you know, good. It's like. It's like, an, it's emotionless, like, you know, it's just, it's just good, and like, it's like, you know, you could say it's extravagant or amazing, and it's, my dude's like, no, that's why we use the word good, because it's emotionless, we don't need to add emotion to the way someone or something feels, other than saying that they are good right now. Yeah. I don't get English, I honestly but think anyway, it's the Anyway, so, a bunch of schools have actually banned a, upwards of 120 words from being used in essays, and you will fail if you have those words in your essays. And I'm like, that is so stupid. What words? It's like, you know, common words like good, bad, you know, this, that. It's like all these things. I'm like, That wow. is very stupid. You can't use I, me, we, you. I'm like, well, what else are you going to use? You should be able to. I understand it is strictly like, I guess, paper that's supposed to be biasless. You're not supposed to use your... But you, you kind of have to. That's kind of the point of writing. It's to express your own idea. That is what, that is I know, but in something where you're not supposed to be expressing bias, you don't want to say I. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, my teacher was like reading my paper and he's like, yo, I, um... There's like a point in your paper where like you get like it's like almost all your papers. There's like a point in your papers where you just get really like cocky or whatever, and it's just like I know what you get the point because you uh, begin by referring to yourself in third person followed by first person, and I'm like yeah I do, and he's like and, and you do that in a grammatically correct way. I'm like yeah, yeah I do because I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. <laughs> like what I do like my paper. This coming from like, the guy oh. who constantly asks me how to spell basic words. So yes, yeah, so spelling's not my strong suit. But anyway, <laughs> hear me out. So, in a lot of papers, I'll be like, you know, I, comma, myself. You know, like, I myself believe this, that, and other thing. My teacher's like, Joe, that's grammatically correct, but just it sounds stupid. I'm like, I know. That's why I do it. I do it for the mind. I like to get away with it. My English final, though, is so bad. I'm just, I'm not, I don't want to write it and do it in like three days. Joe, just, just write it and get it over with. And then YouTube. Uh, no, like, 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 it's almost all the way done. I just need a conclusion. I just need to wrap it up, but I don't know how.
that and the other thing. Yeah. That, that's, that's pretty much a conclusion. That is how you can conclude papers. Oh, you're dead. You died, like, faster. Oh, well, that happened. It did happen. Look over here, everybody. This is the enemy spawn. Yeah, that, that's their enemy nexus. Our goal is to destroy that. Remember how I said I wouldn't do this? Well, I'm going to. This is our nexus. We gotta protect that. That allows us to spawn super minions. <laughs> we're that, you gotta, you gotta like. protect these turrets. We're, uh, 15 we minutes in. Failed. We already failed a mission, so I'm 15 minutes in and already tutorializing. These games usually only take like 20 minutes, though. Yeah. That's why they're good for something like this. Just fill it. Look, Joe, what are we gonna name this series? League and Chill? League and Chill. Oh, my neck, like, I have such a cramp in my neck right now. Speaking of cramp... Cramp? Okay, okay, you know I'm going with this. No. People aren't gonna get this in the future, but I'm gonna say this. All the goddamn Krampus ads! Oh my god, yes! They're everywhere, I'm like, I don't care, I just- I, I don't, don't care about your horror movie! I don't care about your Christmas-related horror, horror movie. movie. Like, it's, it's stupid, I don't know why, why, just, Why just do you have why? to spam me with Krampus ads? Like, it's not like, you know, once every couple of ads I see is a Krampus ad, no, it's every, every ad. I haven't gotten any of them, like, very recently, but I do get them so much. Nice, nice, Joe, you got the combo on that? I did, he wouldn't have got the kill if I didn't assist him. I mean, enhance, I didn't enhance his kill, he wouldn't have got it. Wait, Jordan, where are you and where am I? Alright, you need to stand next to me for a second. Uh-huh. Focus your camera on me, you ready? One second. Oh my god. Doing the dance. Like, what even is this? Oh shoot, the enemy's coming. Oh, he's I bad. got this, I got this. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Stun the one, bro. Stun the one. Oh, that double, that, do that double felt real nice. I was pretty sure I was just ulti. If I can hit Vygar with my Wombo, great. So, any more other philosophical quandaries, qualms? Ooh, just sniped him. Oh, I thought you were talking about my elegant word choices, but... No. Queries, that's the word I'm looking for. That's because you use big words doesn't mean you're smart. Queries, Joe. Any queries? <laughs> that is, that is, um, that's a word. Any qualms with space? Anything that you think what should it be? be? Would it be a conundrum? Um, not really. It's more of like something that's puzzling, confusing. Isn't that space in a nutshell? Isn't space itself confusing? Not really. Space is very orderly. Because you know what I loved in my physics class? Like, I was out of physics class and we did like projectiles and stuff like that. You know what made like something super easy? My what? teacher was like, um, you know, this problem, this, that, and the other thing, your velocity is this, your acceleration is this, your mass depreciation per distance over time is this. Oh, and you're in a vacuum in space. And I'm like, thank god I don't have to deal with gravity. Thank god. Gravity? I think you meant friction. Kid? No, gravity and friction. No, because like, we're talking about projectiles, so it's distance, time, or the relative distance. Okay, so you don't have to worry about... And so you're so far out into the void of space that gravity isn't affecting you. Yes, it pretty much means you're in, back, in a voidless back... In <laughs> Which I don't know how, according to science people, how um, we have unaccounted for gravity called dark matter, and how do you get into a spot and it just takes up all of the void of space, yet you can get to spots, I'm pretty sure, where there are no gravity. Is Vygar dropping Tetris pieces? Um, that's actually, that is a, that is a conundrum. Uh, we actually learned about this in my physics class. You are never a hundred percent not affected by gravity. Every yeah. single planet in the entire space, like the entire of the yes, space, you're the always universe, everything affects you. It's just, it's so small, it doesn't matter. 
And because of that, you just want as you get to a certain point, you consider it to be non-existent. So, Joe. Okay, you might want to kill this. Uh, what was it? You know what would be really fun? Getting out into gravity alone. Nothing near you. Like, you just park your spaceship so far away that it's not affecting you. Yeah, it's not like... Yeah, and then do two... It, no, give me out. Give me out. You drop an object, like a pen, in front of you. Push it forward just a teeny bit and watch as it gravitates back towards you. And get oh, a yeah, pen you're orbiting gravity, you. Yeah. You are technically producing gravity. Get a pen orbiting you. Or something small like a screw orbiting you. Or like a golf ball. Yes. I think a pen would probably, a pen or a pencil would be the best thing. Speaking of golf, how is your golf game? Because I haven't golfed in like a year. Oh god. I went and just hit some practice balls the other day. Oh, dude, I, I played... couldn't even hit the ball. Oh, dude, I, like, I legitimately have not played in a year. I don't even know what golf is. Joe, come down here for Christmas and I'll bring you to a golf game. They're probably still open. Mm, maybe. Joe, do it. Nah, I'm good. No, oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm just kidding. Just I kidding. I got you. Not dead. Are you still going in while we're being chased by tanks? Yeah, I've got two of them on the run. We're just kind of like dying Dang. back here. Did you guys die to the tank? I, I did tons of damage to all of them, except for five I killed one because he was being stupid. Uh, if you want to, do you have ult? Uh... No, I used it already. Oh, Vigar, please. Vigar, please don't kill me. Like, I know you're just gonna right click on me and kill me. Who wanted to surrender? I don't know. I can easily wreck them. Joe, did you, did you know that if you enter a rotating black hole for a slice of the right angle, you will time travel? Oh, you told me about that, yeah. Uh, I find that to be awesome. I can't wait to just time travel. But if you enter the wrong angle, I'll uh, instant death. Just, yeah. just instant death. Well, no, it's more spaghettification over. <laughs> what, what if, yeah. if that is the technical term for it, dying to a black hole is called spaghettification. <laughs> that is the actual name of it. The scientific name is spaghettification. I know, I was watching, I was watching a video on like the Discovery Channel, I think, and they used that word and I died laughing. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you spaghettified. I'm like, what? You are you want me to describe spaghettifying to everyone? No, I, I, I think they understand what being turned into spaghetti is. Okay, no, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta explain it. So, <laughs> if you fall into a, into a black hole, what will happen? The force of gravity on your legs will be stronger than the force of gravity on your torso. Exponentially, exponentially stronger. So, your torso will be separated from your legs, and then your legs will be, and that, that'll be, so you'll be broken in half. Your body will be broken in half by the gravitational forces. And then, after that, your legs will be ripped in half and your torso will be ripped in half. And then it just keeps everything keeps ripped in half exponentially they... until you're down to the atomic size. Doesn't it stretch you out first? Like it stretches yes, you out. It stretches you, it keeps stretching you, and then you snap. Stretches you, stretches you, you snap even more. And <laughs> you have a spaghetti. And eventually you become just a string of atoms. Really, really far apart atoms. He did not expect that death leave out of nowhere. But to you, I'm pretty sure time dilation is a thing. So you wouldn't even notice it. Yeah, you wouldn't notice, but someone watching you. Well, no, someone watching you wouldn't either, because they're affected by time dilation as well. Uh, no, I think you would notice all of it, but they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, because if the light is If they were orbiting the black hole in the spaceship and you fell in, they would just see you sitting there. They not. would see you sitting there not moving. Yeah. As you, you would actually slowly get farther and farther away, but like really slowly. And they'd be like, oh, it's they fine. They would die before they ever saw you, even slightly get to you. Right? Is that how Yeah, pretty much. But in reality, you're being stretched apart like a piece of spaghetti. And yeah. then broken full spaghetti pieces. Spaghettification. I love spaghettification. If I were to die, Joe, and, <laughs> and, 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 and I had to win a Darwin Award, 
dying to a black hole would be Star Wars what I would like. <laughs> Star Wars is removing yourself from the gene pool. I would remove myself from the, from the gene pool in exchange for being the first person to die to a black hole. <laughs> Spaghettification. I mean, it'd be painful, sure, but everyone would remember you. As being that guy that turned into spaghetti. That one guy who proved why we don't jump in black holes for sport. And Jordan, do you want to tell everyone why you don't drink soda in space? Because if you burp, you vomit. If you burp, you vomit. <laughs> Dude, that's the funnest fact I learned like two days ago. I feel like you have a higher chance of vomiting if you burp. I don't feel like it's a 100% chance thing. Like, the air in your stomach is brought up and out by the food and stuff It's like, not... Because it's all gravity. Yeah, it's just pulling things out. It's not fun. <laughs> I think, Joe, every single burp will involve a little bit... If you burp, it will be throwing up in your mouth. I'm sorry if this is a touchy subject for anyone. Um, Get oh, oh. Oh, we lost. Uh, make sure you don't click out of the screen and well, record your well, well, bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah. Next time. Um, remember, don't be spaghettified. That's my job. <laughs> don't, don't worry about spaghettification. Doesn't work on Earth. You can't yeah, be spaghettified. Yeah, black holes are very rare. Like, yeah, we're we're gonna see one coming in for us. We'll feel one coming for us. They got really strong gravitation. But yeah, yeah. have fun. Um, don't be spaghettified. And oh. remember, it's like liquid in a cup. It's like liquid in a cup.